Have you ever wondered how the working piston machines at boiler steamer? The working principle of the piston will move because of the heat the working principle of the piston will move because the heat vapor pressure comes from steam vapor pressure steam comes from a steam boiler or thermodynamic principle heat pressure becomes kinetic work parts of the piston steam engine steam supply steam comes from the boiler this pressurized steam is then flown through the engine piston to produce mechanical work Sled valve. This valve is installed in the steam chest. Its function is to flow steam to the cylinder. The sliding valve also removes steam from the cylinder at the right time. The valve moves forward and backward from the eccentric mountain and on the crankshaft. It is the closed chamber integral to the cylinder. It supplies steam to the cylinder with the movement of a slide valve. Valve rod. Valve stem. This part is connected to the piston. Cross nod. Cross nod it is the link between a piston rod and the connecting rod. It guides the motion of the piston rod and prevents it from bending. Eccentric rod. Eccentric rod is connecting rod between the crank and the piston rod. Cylinder. Originally, these really were just only tubes. However, nowadays extruded profiles instead of a tube are used for most cylinders. The advantage is that a profile can also be used for additional functions. Mounting the sensors. Mounting option for attachment parts. One-sided pressurization of double-acting cylinders. Piston. The piston, which is connected to the piston rod, carries out the actual movement in the cylinder. However, the piston needs to do more than just carry out a movement. It forms a seal between the front and rear cylinder chamber. In addition, the piston has to convert the kinetic residual energy in the end position. The bearing and end caps also have their part to play. Piston Rod The piston rod is the part which transmits the force and the movement of the cylinder to the outside. The tip of the piston rod generally has a thread so that other customer components can be attached to it. Connecting Rod it is cast iron part which helps to convert the reciprocating motion of the piston into rotary motion of the crank. Gudgeon pin is used to connect one end of connecting rod across head. Its open end is connected to the crank shaft. Flywheel. This is made of cast iron or cast steel. It is mounted on the crank shaft to prevent engine speed fluctuations throughout strokes. Therefore bring the crank smoothly above the dead center. This movement is connected and used to move other parts. Exhaust. The exhaust is a residual discharge from steam. This animation shows the workings of the piston by hot steam. The hot steam produced by boiler water is heated by fuel to boil through the pipe to the cylinder tube. Valve slides separate the steam left and right. When the slide valve is in the left position, the steam will push the piston to move to left. When the piston is pushed to the left, slide valve move to the right. Hot steam enters through the left pipe and moves the piston to the right. At the same time, the remaining hot steam on the right is discharged through the exhaust port pipe. The process occurs repeatedly to move the wheel. This working principle is used to drive engines on steam trains, steam cars, steamers, agricultural machinery, and others. Thanks for watching.